we're value investors, so we like to invest in businesses where there's a margin of safety in the purchase price. Along with the fall in the price of oil, the stock prices naturally of a lot of energy-related companies have fallen. So we believe that there are some opportunities just based on price. We would also argue there's a lot less risk in these business when you're assessing them at a, in a $40 or $50 oil environment than when you're assessing them at a $100 oil environment. We looked at the industry and there is a significant amount of, of companies that have added no value over time. There are a few that have, and those are the ones that we're concentrating on. Because of the unique aspects of this sector, because of the varying degrees of quality of businesses and likelihood for survival of some of these businesses, we think it's very important to do a bottoms up company by company rigorous study of them. Now, some people might invest in the energy sector passively through ETFs or index funds, where you're gonna be buying good businesses and you're gonna be buying bad businesses. We think the right approach, particularly in this environment, is, is to look at each company individually and this will help you get better returns and reduce your risk of permanent capital loss. I was in Houston recently seeing a number of companies through the whole stream, whether it be E&P companies or oil field services businesses. And what we're finding is that the good businesses and the good management teams have a very good, credible plan if oil prices stay low for a long time. The bad companies are just betting on higher oil in the next couple of months. Management is important in, in all businesses, but it's particularly important in the energy sector. There are a lot of ways where a management team can destroy value and burn through capital. So we spend a lot of time looking at management. What we look for are those managements who are willing and able to spend within their means, which means they assess their capital budgets and they plan for capital spending based on the cash that they're going to produce. We like managements who are opportunistic. Oil is notoriously cyclical. So the price of the land that you lease or buy to produce that oil is cyclical too. So we like managements who are conservative in their estimates and opportunistic in acquiring assets. And lastly, we like managements who are shareholder friendly. What do we look for in, say, an oil services company? Similar to the E&P companies, there are some of those businesses that will not likely survive low price oil, but there are some that provide a very crucial service or product to the E&P company. So for instance, there is a company that provides remotely operated vehicles for offshore drilling rigs. Now these are the vehicles that go underneath, they drill, they maintain the pipes, they, they provide a very crucial service. But the cost of an ROV is only about 1% of the cost of the rig. If the ROV is not working, the rig's not working. So that service is very important to an E&P company. And so they have a very strong competitive position. It's a great business that's necessary and adds a lot of value to the E&P company. Mm -hmm.